Hello, welcome to Precious Lives. I'm Dr. Kamal Jeet, a surgical specialist, basically a breast uh, specialist. Okay, uh, today whenever you have an examination uh, in the outpatient department, the last sentence that we discuss is that, ma'am, please do your self-breast examination. Self-breast examination is very important. It helps us to early detection, uh, helps in the early detection of lesions which can be worrisome later on. It also helps you to know that lumps which are normal for you. So it allays anxiety and decreases stress. Basically, every woman has to be friendly with her breasts. Learn self-breast examination. It saves lives. It helps you and protects you from a lot of unnecessary worries. So basically, uh, you have to know two things about self-breast examination. When to do the self-breast examination and how to do self-breast examination. When to do self-breast examination? All women who are menstruating need to do self-breast examination at the end of your period. So if you have a 5 day cycle, do it after the 5 days. Whether you have a 7, uh, you menstruate for 5 days, do it at the end of the 5 days. And if you have a 45 day cycle, after 45 days, when you menstruate for 3 days or 4 days, do it at the after 45 days, at the end of the last day after you've bled or had your menstrual period. So uh, that is the uh, time to do, that is the time when the uh, hormones are all calm and quiet at their lowest levels. So you can have a very clear picture of what is or what the lumps are present at that point of time. Otherwise, because of during the month there are hormonal changes, sometimes the breasts become lumpy because of the increasing levels of estrogen and progesterone which occur normally during your menstrual cycle. What about women who are not menstruating for either due to a surgery on the uterus or postmenopausal? Uh, that you can fix on the calendar uh, any uh, on the calendar fixed day. For example, first of every month, just do your self breast examination. Cell breast examination is done in two positions, standing and lying down. So I will just illustrate on the specimen, standing first of all, stand in front of the mirror in the washroom and see the level of your breast and the nipples. What the level today that you see is normal for you, one might be higher or lower than the other, don't worry. Both your hands are not of the same size, both the feet are not of the same size. So the level of the breast also doesn't have to be at the same level, the nipples and the breast. So see the level and in front of the mirror and that's normal for you. There can You can change it to two other positions. One is arms by the side, press inwards. Please see if there is any change in the level of the nipples and the breast. The other third position will be with your arms raised. Please see if there is any change in the level of the nipples or the breast. Any signi significant change, please bring it to the notice of your doctor. Sometimes, they will, the, uh, if there is a, a lump which cannot be seen out, uh, uh, externally, there will be a wrinkling of the skin once you raise your arms over the breast. That is very significant. Thereafter, you have to palpate the breast and then you and your doctor will decide how significant that lump is or that wrinkling is. Once you have examined the level, we start palpation. You are still standing in front of the washroom mirror. Start from the outer upper quadrant of one breast. Palpate with the flat of your fingers, three or four fingers. Start all around the breast in circular motion. Lastly, do not forget the nipple, do not forget the armpit. You have done that on one side, repeat on the other side. Start from the outer upper quadrant, circular motion, move around the entire breast, you are feeling for any lumps, any uh, grain, granular like feeling in the lumps, uh, in the breast sorry. And whatever you feel today is normal for you, do not worry. And don't forget the nipple area, don't forget the armpit. At times the breasts are absolutely normal but you might have a lump in the armpit. That is, uh, <coughs> it might be a sebaceous cyst only, might be a lymph node, anything. Sometimes your breast is absolutely normal and you have a lump in the axillary area. The entire process is then repeated after you lay down on the bed. Lie down and repeat the whole process 
by starting palpation from the outer upper quadrant of one side move around the entire breast don't forget the nipple area don't forget the armpit the entire same thing happens on the other side so simple takes two minutes that is self breast examination please do it every month for menstruating women or postmenopausal women with the time is to be decided depending upon you whether you're menstruating or not if you're menstruating i can <coughs> do it at the end of the last day of your period if you're not menstruating fix a particular day on your calendar month and just do it every month thank you so much